Libra to your love reading for November. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Subscribe. Okay, let's see what's going on with you. This message coming out. This message for love. We have spiritual maturity going on, walking up that plank over here. I love that. You're walking the mountain over here with this person. So I do love that. Whether this person's already in your life or they're on their way, uh, take it how it resonates. Um, this is definitely going to feel like it is worthy for you. Honoring your own spiritual growth and that of your beloved is vital for a loving relationship. So if you feel like, you know what, mm, I don't want somebody who's not grown. I don't want somebody who's not awake. Right? I want someone awake. Well, here you go. They are definitely awake. <laughs> right? The eye, of course, sitting up there. He's saying, yes, I am awake. Uh, with the spiritual maturity, you have self-respect. Yes. And, of course, coming with this spiritual maturity, it comes with self-respect. Right? And maybe you were dealing with someone who didn't have self-respect. Right? It's almost like they're walking up the same, it's almost like the same place. It's almost like they're walking up to this castle that says, well, through spiritual maturity, we have self-respect. When you have self-respect, then you can respect not only yourself, but me as well. It goes hand in hand, right? So, yeah, you definitely can see, you know what, this is where I want this to be. I like it when somebody has self-respect because it shows that they will respect my needs as well as their own. Finding that inner peace, having a place of inner peace. This person, you know, knows how to have inner peace, and that gives you inner peace as well. They don't want conflict. They don't want to fight with you. They just want to have inner peace. They want the love. They want to show you the love. This person likes to go out. They enjoy life. They want to have fun. They want to go outside. They want to do things. They also might be creative in, you know, writing artistic values, things of that nature as well. So you might also find them, you know, building things outside. You know, maybe they're also creative with their hands. Right? So, let's see what's going on. Now, you're going to love that, though. Right? This person is showing you the love. Showing you the fun. Solar light upgrade. Solar plexus chakra, inner fire, willpower. This person you see it has the willpower. This person does fire you up. This person does have the strength to do the things that they wanted. You, they may even give you more intentions. You can see their intentions. This person has a great um, willpower. They have, wow, this person is very self-confident. This is, you know, a person who is very mature. And they have their intentions. They go after their intentions. They're not lazy. This is not a lazy person. This is a person, yeah, as you can see this, this person, you know, you can see a lot of possibilities. This is the type of person, you know, I want to jump into your arms. I want to do things with you, making decisions. They don't, you know, they know how to make decisions. This person isn't one of those persons, oh, I don't know what I want to eat. No, they know what they want to eat. They know when they're hungry. They know when they want to go out. They know what they want to do. They know what their travel plans are. You know, and they can make travel plans with you. They may even have a few on the list. Hey, you want to go here? You want to go there? Let's make it together, right? Because this person knows where they're going and what they're building. And there's a lot of progress within this relationship. And you're going to see this person, you know, as being kind of the king or the queen over here, right? Yes, because they have the strength and the courage to continue to keep doing things. They don't allow anything to hold them back, right? Right? But they also have a lot of compassion as well. As you can see, she's not fighting the lion. She is befriending the lion so that the lion trusts her enough to be able to open its mouth. That is a trust situation. The strength over here isn't because she's trying to pry his mouth open. It's because they, they trust each other enough. There's a trust there. Right, and that's what it is, is the trust, and you have this trust through, you know, companionship, through compassion as well. So, very beautiful. Grab a couple cards over here and see what's going on, so you know that you can trust this person. You feel like you can trust this person, and they trust you. I um, could definitely be dealing with a Leo or an Aries, or an Aquarius.
Aquarius. Yes, this is a, for a lot of you, this is a past This is a past life relationship. You have known each other before. This could be why you feel so connected. This could also be why you're coming back together as spiritually mature. A lot of the times our past soul lives want to come back together, want to find each other once we spiritually grow in this life enough to be able to, you know, be at the highest energy for the overall good. It is safe for you to love. Now, that's interesting because right here is talking about the strength. You don't want the lion to bite your arm off. You have to have the trust in the, you know, in both of you to be able to trust each other. So open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Right? Very beautiful. So, absolutely. So let's see what they're doing over here. So knowing that you trust them, you know, and yeah, there's something about them, you know. You want to give them the trust, you know. They say they manifested you, and they know that they manifested you. Even though the, you were the yin and they were the yang, and you guys are a little different from each other, they said it's okay because, you know what, we can learn to grow together, and actually being the yin and yang is actually better in the end. Because that means that maybe where I'm creative, maybe you're not creative. Maybe where I know what I want to eat, maybe you don't 100% know what you want to eat. But that's okay because we come together so beautiful as one right through the trust. Right? They see you as the divine feminine. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. It doesn't matter. It's just the energies that you're putting off of this nurturing, loving, compassion, listening. You have great listening skills. They feel like they can have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with you and that you're always there to listen. Right? Always there. And there's a lot of serendipity. Feeling like it's heaven on earth. Feeling like, you know what, we can travel together. There is so much love and so much, um, you know, everything going on. This is a place of just pure utopia when they are with you. That's the way their heart feels. Their heart feels like it's very much a blessing. It's just not even, a, you know, and at first they could even said, you know what, you were a blessing in disguise. And the more that I know, and the more I get to, you know, be with you, the more you just really turn my wheels. Uh -huh. Wheel of Fortune, they do feel like you are their destiny. They do feel like this is the manifestation. They do feel like you were destined to be together. They do feel like when there are ups and downs that you can always bring them to serendipity. I love that. They went through some, some challenges, and they may even see that you went through some challenges within your life to get to the Three of Swords, but I do feel like, you know what, it's like throughout the heartache and all the heartbreak, they have learned much within life, or they have learned your strengths and see you very strong, right? And they see you as the Emperor, as a person who is of high respect, you have a lot of self-respect in you. They see you very stable, very in control of your emotions and, and your environment. They see you very disciplined and focused on what is practical and what needs to be done. They don't see you as just kind of flighty and all over the place. Then they love that about you because they see the leadership roles within you. They see that, you know, that you do sit on your throne. You do say what you, you say what you mean and mean what you say. That's what the emperor does. Right. So they do love this. They love this structure and that you have rules and that you understand things. You're going up by what you need to do. Yet you also have the passion and the nurturing of the divine feminine. So that's very awesome because that means you're taking on the divine masculine and divine feminine, which means you're completely 100% in control of what needs to be in control, which means you're very balanced. And that's very good. I love that. Right. So, I love that. There's that yin and yang again. It says, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and ex expectations. So, I love that, though, because it's, again, and new love. This is not your ex. This is not your, this is not someone that you had dated before. This is not your ex, okay? This is real new love. It has a lot of good chemistry, okay? There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Now, if you guys know that you are dating your ex and that this is your ex who's come a long ways, it could actually be that they are like a whole new energy. 
Because you could say, no, it's my ex, but boy, they're going to come up at like a new love because this is not the immature Steve that I had 30 years ago. You see what I'm saying? So it could be coming up like that if you know, because then therefore it's showing that they have changed so much. Their energy has changed due to maturity and spiritual maturity. Okay. And that does happen. Okay. For the majority of you though, this is a relationship you have never met before. This person you never met before. Okay. So take that how it is. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.